Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. Kick it. From our Magic Studios in Orlando, Florida, this is Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. And welcome everyone to Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante here in our Orlando Magic Studios. I'm Dante, this is Galante, and we're pleased to be joined by Orlando Magic rookie, although it doesn't seem like he's a rookie at this point, this late into the season. That's not true. He's still a rookie. Oh, he still is. It's yes. Courtney Lee. Thanks for joining us here in the studio. No problem. Thanks for having me. Where are our donuts? Where are the donuts? <laughs> oh, good point. You have to be on a roster to get donuts. Oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Do not that, agree. I didn't we, know that was the rule. I thought you just had to bring donuts. We are veterans, went. by the way. Are, I mean, y'all would be, but Dwight eats about seven itself, so I don't think there's any more left for y'all. Yeah, that's point. true. That's a good point. Stick that's with a good that point. One. I should have All right, we appreciate it. What do you think of the setup here? You were on our internet show. Now you come into the studio. We got a desk. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it's a lot different than the internet show. This is this is big time, man. I like this. <laughs> yeah, that's I what I said when I walked in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Courtney, well, we appreciate it. I want you to meet uh, another member of our broadcast team. He's Mad Dog. You may recognize him from from practice. Take a look at the ma at the monitor. Mad Dog, how are you? I'm doing great, guys. It's uh, fantastic to have the rookie on the show here tonight. Um, I got here a little late, so I don't have anything for Courtney on my own, but I did pull nice this work. email that we received. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> got this email from Daniel Tinsley, okay. and it comes in from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And Daniel says, I was wondering if Courtney Lee has a blog or Twitter or any social networking site that we could follow him on. I'm a big fan. Sounds like he's a stalker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sounds like this guy wants to stalk you. Sounds a little creepy. <laughs> no, I don't have any of those. No Facebook, MySpace. Uh, I never heard of Twitter, so <laughs> for sure don't have that. It's just, it sounds like a stalker. If you go to Twitter.com, though, George is currently Twittering Galante for the Orlando Magic. That's right. Which Sometimes that's what I'm doing during a game. I'm Shaq not does it. Attention. He did it at halftime the other night. Charlie Villanueva did it during a game, got in trouble. But So you're not into that. You're not into the social networking. That doesn't yeah, matter. I'm not. What, what is Twitter? Twitter's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's more like they want to know what you're doing at the moment. So yeah. you type it in, and anybody that's following you, I think they can see. I, to so, me, if, so you, to so me, if you're my friend, you have my phone number, and you right, can go right. ahead and call me. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say Courtney is eating dinner at such and such a place, and they'd all show up. That, that's pretty much how it works. But anyway, Mad Dog, we couldn't help but notice that shirt you got on there. What's the deal with that? Yeah, thing? how do you like this? It's, I, it's pretty nice. What's it for? It's from uh, Fifth Third Bank. Our good friends at Fifth Third Bank gave me this. And, uh, and to learn more about their Magic Makers program, log on to OrlandoMagic.com. All right, appreciate it, Mad Dog. Thanks a lot. And. Well, Courtney, we don't know a whole lot about you. You're new to this town. We know some things about you, all right? So we want to kind of wanted to get into it. We're going to have some fun with you here in a second. But we wanted you to take a look at the monitor and hear what your teammates and your coach say about Courtney the player. Okay. Let's talk about Courtney the player first. Go ahead and roll that footage. He doesn't make many mistakes, and uh, he knows what's going on. He'll get caught in some rotation problems at times, maybe not aware. It's more of an experience thing. There's just still some situations that veterans have seen 500 times and can anticipate coming that he can't. But from a poise standpoint, he's like having a, a veteran guy out there. He's playing great, you know, and that's one thing that we've been getting on him about, you know, all year is, you know, even though he's a rookie, he's going to have to put up big minutes for us and we're going to need him to be consistent. And he's done a, you know, a pretty good job of that. And when he's not doing a good job, you know, us being veterans, even though he's older than me, uh, we get on him. <laughs> he got, uh, yeah, he got I got to say, he got big cojones <laughs> to be over there. And uh, in the first year, you know, put the numbers the way he, you know, the way he's putting right now. I was surprised he could have made the rookie team. Uh, it really, if you look at it, our record and uh, how what? he had impact to our team, uh, I was just surprised. But been playing well, uh, you know. Uh, we put him in tough situations, uh, having a guard, uh, the best perimeter player for the most part, night in, night out. But uh, he's done a pretty good job of, uh, you know, giving up 50, 38s, uh, 46s. <laughs> so, you know, uh, he's hanging in there. <laughs> 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 Pretty high praise from from the rookie. Talk about that. They, they they do get on you for that for some of the big nights like Dwayne Wade and those guys. Oh yeah, they stay on me all the time. <laughs> Even though Dwayne didn't score all fifty on me, is it's all fifty on me because he was my defense assignment to begin with. I was just glad we had Stan and he wasn't yelling at you. How about that? That's why I was just oh, happy man. to see he wasn't yelling at you at the time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's good to see him talking in a mellow <laughs> tone instead of yelling. Does it does that motivate you though to know that he cares? I mean, that's the reason he does it. He he yeah. sees that in you as a player, and he and he and he wants to motivate you. Oh, definitely. I, I mean, or he I'm glad like that he's that he's staying. <laughs> or, or he hates you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> glad, I'm glad he I'm glad he stays on me. I mean, it's, it's motivation to push me to get better, and, and I see that he sees that I, I have a good future here, and he wants me to 
to thrive to be the best. Well, Courtney, we heard from the guys talking about how well you're playing, and that was kind of boring because we wanted to get into the good stuff now. Take a look at the monitor. Here are your teammates again. Uh, Courtney Lee, the rookie. Let's get into the good stuff. Here we go. Roll the foot. You know, being a year older than me, I see him as, you know, his first year in the league, and this is my fifth year. So, you know, uh, when he's not doing the right thing, that's when we had to go to the rookie hazing and make him, you know, run errands for us and wash our cars and get the donuts in the morning. We, oh, we got to stay on him. We got to stay on him. He had a great game the other night, but I was still yelling at him just because he's a rookie. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> so you just do it just because. He has about a couple of more months of this, <laughs> and then uh, he could do it to the next guy. What kind of taking the, the roll, man, or protecting the paint. Uh, uh, stop getting tired because he's too young for that. <laughs> you know, rookies don't get tired. They are just things that he's going to get mad at us about. You know, he's going to bring the foods, you know, <laughs> when we go to the road, you know, to the plane and those kind of stuff, and magazines, those kind of stuff. You know, he still he can have a 49th game, but next day he's going to bring donuts. So <laughs> we all yell him, you know. When we make mistakes, you know, we blame on him. So <laughs> yeah, it's a part of being rookie. You know, we've all been through it. And uh, I know he's going to do it, you know, when other rookies come, you know, in next year. So it's just part of the... Uh, stuff the NBA, you know, that you're going through. So, team defense is something that's maybe a little low on his priority list. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're trying to help him right the ship and let him know that hey, you know it's five guys out there. there that, you know, <laughs> yeah, we need yeah. help and we need everybody to do their single job. So go he likes guard. to uh, hug his man and be on the island. And uh, you know, when he's guarding somebody tough, then he wants us to help him. So, you know, it would probably help if he would help us, and then you know, we would probably give a thought to helping Mario him. Mario Chalmers versus Garden Wade. Yeah, well, how, how about that? Clear that up for us, would you please? Uh, AJ said uh, d team defense isn't high on your priority list. He said. <laughs> AJ just talking right there. I mean, we all know that he's not the defensive player that he thinks he is. I mean, like I said, that's why I guard some of the point guards sometimes when he's in the game. What's been what's been one of the worst things that the guys have had to do? Anything really bad, or or has it just been the typical donuts, magazines? food on the plane, which I have yet to see any drift all the way to the back of the plane. Right, yeah, or, or to the show. I'm still waiting. Or, or here on even, the set. Even if you brought one donut in, in your hand, it would have been fine. Even an eaten donut. All right, I'm going okay. to take care yeah. of you. Yeah, but that would probably be the uh, probably be the only thing to the extreme pretty much is bringing donuts every game day uh, and when we go on the road, bringing food on the plane. But the one thing that they got me the most was like on my birthday, like I, I took a shower and they come in with the ice buckets, right. dumping it on me. Then when I get Ooh. dressed and leave, my car is not outside, so I had to <laughs> search for it for about an hour. Like that, that would probably be that's pretty the worst good. thing right there. That, that's pretty good. good. You know, I yeah. saw him after a game. Courtney had a good game a couple of weeks ago, and he's sitting there, and you you were on your phone after the game, and you were covered in uh, powder, some sort of white powder. Powder. <laughs> what, what happened there? Are they just walking by, dropping it on you, or what? yeah, actually, right after the game, right before Coach talked, I went to the bathroom for a second, and I turned around. Somebody called my name, and they just throw a powder bomb on me. <laughs> It's, uh, <laughs> that was that was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was me. I was you, trying to I was trying that. to run and hide. My favorite yeah. part of all that, we talked to all the all the guys about you as a rookie, and I said, "Well, March." I said, "I know you were the rookie last year. I know they got him pretty good." I said, well, how, I said, you must be giving it to him the worst." And he goes, "Actually, they have a rule for me." <laughs> he goes, "I can't do anything until my third year in the league." <laughs> now, how did that's a rule for March and only? <laughs> now, how did that happen? How did you get it? How did you get that levied I, on him? I, I think that happened because uh, I think the first day of uh, training camp, March was already demanding like ten orders when all the vets only had like one to just get the Gatorades. March was like, "Get the towel, get the Gatorade, <laughs> fix me a plate, and all this stuff." And so the vets was like. Marsh, you haven't put in years like we put in to be demanding and ordering around like that. So, Courtney, you know what's going to be tough for you next year is that we traded our first round draft pick. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll still be all right because I can't be a rookie two know. years well, in a row. That, well, <laughs> but you still may be the low man on the totem pole. I don't know how this roster is going to shake out. Are you pulling for a second round pick? Big no, time we need one. We need one. There's no way I could be the rookie. Two free years agent in a row. rookie. We'll just have to pick yeah. up a free agent rookie. All right, well, we're going to talk a lot more with Courtney Lee. We're going to get into some of his college, uh, some of his college career. Talk okay. a little bit about that coming around the break as well. I want to remind everyone: text five seven three seven five keyword overtime. We have Orlando Magic Cleveland Cavalier tickets. Oh, is that, that we're right? Going to give away. April third. Yeah. Somehow we got a pair of those. I'm sure they're. Ooh, upper I think bowl. I took those out of your locker. You don't yeah, have any tickets on so, April third. Sorry about that. It's oh, out of his me. <laughs> <laughs> April third so, against Cleveland. Yeah, two lower bowl tickets for the Magic and Cavs, and also go to MagicOvertime.com. Submit emails or text five seven three seven five keyword overtime. Mad Dog, what else is coming up next? Well, Dante, when we come back, Courtney Lee will be put to the test with our two favorite questions: What did Hito just say? And would you rather? 
And overtime fans, season tickets for the 2009-2010 season are on sale right now. For only $100 down per seat, you can lock in 08-09 prices and your seats for the 2009 NBA playoffs. So visit orlandomagic.com or call 407-89-MAGIC. Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida.